Captain. Hey, good day. Ewan from 84 Engineering here today. Uh, just doing a quick demonstration um, of how to separate these file guides nice and easily. And also uh, just a quick overview of what they can be used for. Um, after having a good look on YouTube, I couldn't find a video of, of um, what, what they can be used for. And when someone new asks, what's a file guide? Um, you know, it, it would be easier just to have a video to send them to rather than explaining all the different things you can do with them. So these are my file guides in the three different sizes. Um, they'll take 25 mil, 50 mil, and 75 mil between the bolts. Um, they're made with 12 mil wide, sorry, 10 mil wide carbide. Uh, so they've got a nice big flat landing on them. Um, it's nice and easy to keep a file flat on them. But anyway, coming to separating them, um, some people may be able to pinch them in the middle and just pull them apart. I can't at the moment. I've got a uh, sore thumb and I can't do it with any of these ones um, obviously the reason that they're so tight you could make them I could make them looser they come apart nice and easily but then they wouldn't be as precise there's a chance they're going to twist when you clamp them onto um, your blade or your guard or whatever you're you're doing with them and you won't end up with as good a results as with a file guide that's nice and tight the other thing is is obviously with use they're slowly going to wear and they will get looser over time so better to start with them nice and firm than start with them already on the back foot being loose the easiest way to take get these apart is put them bolt down on the bench do not put them pinned down you obviously don't want to um, damage the ends of the pins or bend them or anything like that but bolt down on the bench and all I'm going to do is push the bottom side of the guard down no, the, the guide down I'm just pinching the bottom side of it and I'm just going to, it's hard to do with the camera in the way, just going to push them apart. Um, so down like that, push them apart. It's nice and easy. You do both sides simultaneously, you won't have problems. I can't pull them apart. All right. That's the best way of doing it. Um, the other thing is, is to try and get your bolts out the same distance before you do it. I, I just go by the um, unthreaded section of the bolt, just wind it out to there open it up your file guide's ready to go all right now for those who um, don't know what a file guide is or, or what it can be used for um, the two main two main things I guess that you'd use a file guide for for knife making would be to clamp the file guide on your Ricasso and then you can go to the grinder or with a file depending on how you do your knives once that's clamped there and you can grind to the file guide with the belt resting rubbing on the on the carbide and then repeat on the other side and your plunge lines will be identical um, the other main use if you're doing hidden tang knives like this one is to clamp it on your car so again but the other way around and that way you can file or use a disc sander, flat disc sander, um, or even your, your belt sander with a nice um, nice fresh belt and a flat platen and go to and grind your shoulders or file your shoulders nice and flat and square and in line so when you bring your guard up it's going to line up perfectly. The other use for file guides that um, isn't quite so obvious is when you're doing guard fitting. You can clamp your guard in the file guide I'll get that apart there we go. Um, clamp your guard in the file guide. That's one of the reasons that the bolts are left so long on these. You can fit a, fit a guard in there. And if you've pre-drilled your slot, you can clamp that file guide on your mark for your slot and file up against it. And that way you, you don't get that habit of rounding over your file like this and making the slot. Um, rounded inside which which gives you a poor fit it may not may not fit in the middle of the of the guard but it will fit at the outside edges and, and that'll lead to gaps so that's another good use for them um, I'm sure there are plenty of other uses you can come up with not even just in knife making in general general um, metal working any anywhere where you need to line something up and, and grind or file um, the obvious point is is don't use anything diamond on these 
and don't use silicon carbide. They're the two materials that will um, cut the carbide. Um, some people say don't use ceramic belts. I've done some tests where I've gone up to a, a brand new uh, green um, ceramic belt, um, 50 grit, and push this straight into the face of the belt. And all it does is take the grit off the belt. It did not mark the file guide at all. Um, so, yeah, the main thing is, like I say, diamond will affect it, and as will silicon carbide. So, uh, some cheap sandpaper is silicon carbide. Uh, if you're using a disc sander with discs, you can probably get silicon carbide discs. So, you just have to be careful um, of, of your grit. If you're using uh, the normal ceramics, um, you won't have a problem at all. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I um, hope that helps you to get your file guides apart and describe sort of how they can be used. Um, really the limit is, is your imagination um, anywhere where you can clamp them to gain some edge over not using them. You know, they're, they're really handy. All right, happy grinding.